from Chelsea to Pilla. From Sandy Hook to Cape May, Surefire NJ explores life by the sea. But for a close-up look on how the real locals live, you have to visit the Wetlands Institute in Stone Harbor. Talk about life by the sea. This is Phil Broder, Director of Education. Phil, tell us about the Wetlands Institute. Well, we're here on the uh, edge of Stone Harbor, maybe half a mile from the ocean. We've been out here since 1969. We're a private nonprofit and we're teaching people about the salt marshes and the coastal ecology so we can keep these vital areas protected. Well, this area is certainly known for its birds. The Cape May area is one of the best bird watching spots in the world. And just from this deck, you know, we've seen about 70 species in one day. We've got our, os our osprey nest right down there. It's even got a camera on it. So from inside our lecture hall, people can watch the ospreys as they lay their eggs and hatch the chicks and the chicks get to grow up all live on camera. So turtles are a big part here, aren't they? Yeah, and the whole salt marsh, there's only one species of reptile. It's the diamondback terrapin. That's kind of our signature animal. Maybe you can tell by my shirt. <laughs> now, is that what I'm holding right now? You're holding a, about a six-month-old terrapin. I was born here. And uh, this terrapin's mother was a roadkill. That's a big problem for terrapins. They get run over on the, a lot of the roads going down to the shore. Right. We harvest eggs out of the roadkills and then raise the eggs in incubators and try to hatch out you know, several hundred baby turtles every year. So Phil, what kind of programs do you offer here? Well, during the school year, there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff for school groups. And then we get into the summertime, and it's all programs for the general public. Daily marsh walks and live animal programs. Uh, every week we do family night with live animals that come in from the Philadelphia Zoo and other places. We've had live penguins here. Penguins? So, uh, it's a notable, you know, New Jersey salt marsh animal. <laughs> We have some gardeners who come in and they're set up as habitat gardens. That these gardens have plants that are good for butterflies, good for birds. So even just walking in looking through the gardens, you're going to see some wildlife in there. There's a whole other world at the water's edge, at your feet and over your head. If you'd like to get to know your neighbors at the shore, come visit the friendly folks and wildlife here at the Wetlands Institute. Bye.